Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and your first experience. You purchased, you downloaded, you installed, and now you're looking at the first screen and wondering what to do next. Okay. Well, most programs require that you click File, Open, Search, Import, Export, some kind of a trick to get your pictures on the screen. QImage Ultimate is much more user friendly. Over here we have a bar, we click it to close and we click it to open. It's a toggle. And I'm just going to pull this down so you have a better view of what we're looking at. There we have the Windows tree. We're all familiar with that. And your job is to find where do you keep your pictures. I keep mine in a folder called Pics and the subfolders, which I'll click on this plus sign, the subfolders are in special folders denoting the event when the pictures were taken. Okay, let's find one that we can use for a demonstration. I'll click on Ringling and we see that QImage Ultimate is making thumbnails. I'll close up this bar because we don't need it anymore for the moment. And QImage has made thumbnails and once it makes it, it only has to make it one time, so we're not going to worry about that anymore. Right now they look a little small to me, so I'm going to click on Edit, Preferences, and we see we have a drop-down menu of customizable options for you to play with when you get further down the road. Right now we're just dealing with thumbnail size, and we see the default was small, and we're going to change it to medium. That looks a little bit better, I think so. Now I'm going to direct your attention to the printer side. You see here that it's telling me what printer QImage is currently linked to, and it's a network printer that I use for printing receipts and printing emails and things like that. Well, that's not the one I want to use for printing pictures, so I go right over here to this button that says Printer Page Setup, give it a click, and we see I've got the wrong printer in this box, so I click the little arrow, and I find my printer that I like to use for prints, and it's my Epson R1800. I click that, and as long as we have the box open, we might as well click Properties and select some printing paper that belongs to photos. Instead of plain, we'll pick some glossy paper, and for the quality, we'll pick Best Photo. And at this point in time in your instructions, I'm going to say click OK and click OK. And we have the Epson Photo Printer is now selected as the default printer for QImage. And QImage will remember this so you don't have to change it back and forth. While we're up in this corner, let me point out here where it says page 8.266 by 10.766. Whatever happened to the 8.5 by 11? Well, many people ask this question, and we might as well cover it. This size that's noted up here is the printable area that the printer is reporting to QImage, and QImage is reporting it accurately to you. This is the amount of area that will contain the largest print you can make on this sheet of paper under normal conditions. Normal conditions meaning that you didn't turn on borderless. So a normal print, the largest, will be 8.266 by 10.766. Okay, now I'm going to just make your eye come straight down here. We'll just touch on this for a moment. You can see monitor ICC, printer ICC. These are showing you <coughs> that QImage Ultimate is color aware. That means it can use your printer profiles, your monitor profiles, and they're very easy to use. You just kind of put them in this box, so to speak. Okay, let's see if we can make a print. Here we go. This is what we're here for. So we'll click on a thumbnail, select it, and a size box opens up. This is the Print Properties size box. Well, right now it's on the default of 4x6. If I click the 4x6, we see something got in here underneath us, so we'll flip that Print Properties box onto the other side, and we see we have a 4x6 print ready to go. Well, that was pretty easy. You see, QImage Ultimate is designed this way so that a person 
using QImage Ultimate for the first time doesn't have to hunt for where are the print sizes and how do I change the sizes. Oops, I didn't mean this size. It's all right here in front of you. If I wanted to change this size, I click on the image to select it. Notice the red dots around the corners plus the blue border indicating that image is selected. And I can make a 8 by 10 I can make a 5 by 7 or I can go back to my 4 by 6 that's pretty nice now if I want to add a second image that's okay I'll take one and I'll just click the plus sign and there I've got another 4 by 6 that was pretty easy if I want to change this particular image only and not this one I click it to select it see the red dots and I can say wallet size Look at that. I made a wallet size out of that one side. If I want to put it back, click 4 by 6 Pretty neat. Okay. Now, let's say that you're quite comfortable with QImage Ultimate. You've been working it for quite a while. And you think, well, let me see if I can do this print box open manually instead of automatically. So I don't have to have it open when I don't need it. Okay. We'll click on Edit. We'll click on Preferences, we'll click on Print Properties dialog box, and we'll switch this guy over to Manual. Okay, a little reminder information comes up. Printer Properties dialog is now in Manual mode. The Print Properties dialog will now toggle on and off when you do one of the following with your mouse, over the thumbs or the preview page. You shake the mouse, it'll open or close. Hold down the right mouse button for a second, or press the F11 key. Okay, that sounds like fun. We'll click this off, click this close. Let's try it. Shake the mouse, the box opens. Shake the mouse, the box closes. Let's try a right mouse click hold. Box opens, right mouse click, box closes. That's pretty nice. I think that's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm going to remove these pictures, or at least one of them anyway, from the queue. And I'm going to find the second image, and we'll see what we can do with that. Okay, let me just find one here. Something nice. Okay. Okay, let's take this guy. Okay, I'm going to click on the plus sign. He's back in the queue again. By the way, the queue is a line. That's what the word means. And essentially what you're doing is you're queuing up a line of pictures to be printed. Hence the name queue image. You're always queuing up images. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. If we go down to this button over here and it says edit page, I click on that and there I have my flower and my other scene. It has two tabs, cropping and size and location. We'll get back to size and location at a later date, but right now I just want to show you something interesting. Here's my red flowers. If I take this button here on the zoom bar and I push it up like that and I move this box over here, okay, look at this on this side. This is what's going to print. I've effectively cropped it. Okay, like that. Now you could have two people in here and you want to crop out the background. You would push up the zoom bar and center it the way you like it and you've got a crop. That's pretty nice. We say done. There's the print as it's going to show on the screen. Okay, and if I don't want it, I can click on this little scissor and it says you want to remove manual cropping? Yep. There you go. Now we're back to the original again. That's pretty slick stuff. Okay, I think we're ready to print. So we'll go to the center button, click print. The box opens up. We say OK. If we click OK, QImage will make a print. I'll click OK and you can see what's happening. Of course my printer isn't turned on. I don't need it on but for this demonstration, but you can see QImage is building down at the bottom processing, 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 and it's ready to print. It's going to send that information right to your printer. That's it for now. Thank you very much for listening. Stay tuned for the next installment. Bye.